So, you've decided to use blanket insulation in your loft rather than the messy old fashioned stuff. So far so good then. Give yourself an extra pat on the back if you bought it online with free delivery. You just saved yourself several car journeys. Using insulation blanket means that you don't have to worry about wearing goggles and other protective clothing. The blanket is totally encapsulated and therefore none of the insulation material inside can escape. So no itchiness. You will however need a tape measure and a craft knife to carry out the job. So ensure you have these to hand. Also check that you have a suitable light source to work with. Before you open the first roll, quickly check the condition of the loft. Look out for signs of infestation and any wiring that may need repairing. Also look for any holes in the ceiling below as these can cause condensation problems. Ok, now you're ready to start insulating your loft. Open up the first roll and starting at the eaves, slowly unroll it between the joists towards the centre of the loft. Make sure you leave a small gap at the eaves to allow the ventilation to breathe a little. Keep rolling until you reach the wall on the other side. Always ensure the blanket lies under any cables. Now the first piece is down, unroll another one at the other end of the loft towards the first one. Where the two meet, neatly cut and push them together in the middle. Once you've completely covered the loft area, it's time to lay down the second layer, this time in the opposite direction. Once your loft floor is completely finished, there's just the hatch left to insulate. Most loft hatches are already insulated with polystyrene. If yours isn't, simply cut a piece of blanket to fit the area. Congratulations, you now have a well insulated and energy efficient loft.